I better deliver this to Alejandro right away. How may I help you? Hi, I'm Nancy Drew, the new deputy curator over at Beach Hill. So, you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern-day conquistadors? Conquistadors? You had better brush up on your history, young lady. When the Spanish explorers invaded Mexico, they became known as the conquistadors, or conquerors. They robbed the indigenous peoples of their wealth, not just their gold, but their artwork, their sacred objects. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Do you blame Joanna and modern-day art collectors for something that happened long before they were born? There is more. In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed, and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. But Joanna only wants to display this artwork, to celebrate it so the public will be able to enjoy it and learn about your people's great talents and achievements. If the American public wants to see our art, they should come to Mexico. What do you mean by questionable provenance? An artifact's provenance is the story of its origin and ownership. For example, how it made its way from a temple at Chichen Itza to a museum in Washington, D.C. If the artifact's provenance reveals that it has been stolen, then that artifact must be returned to the country of its origin. So, the problem has been remedied, hasn't it? No, not at all. Provenance documents are often tampered with or forged to cover up the theft. Because of this, thefts continue and a great deal of art is moved on the black market, even today. Unethical art dealers and greedy museum curators do nothing to stop this. Are you suggesting Beach Hill is involved in these kinds of misdealings? If Joanna Riggs or that overstuffed pillowhead Sinclair had any decency, they would take measures to see that all Maya artifacts were returned to Mexico at once where they belong. And what if these measures are not taken? My country will have its due, Nancy, even if I have to begin reclaiming its artifacts with my own two hands. I see. Well, I should probably get going. Here are the changes to the loan agreement for the monolith. I just need your signature, please. Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. 
Actually, Alejandro, I think I'm supposed to take them back to Joanna myself. You may consider your mission accomplished. Well, uh, okay then. Goodbye. I think Franklin gave me the museum key. Thank you. 